Hi there, my name is Jason Webber. I'm the Engagement Manager at the UK Web Archive and I'm here to tell you about what we can offer. Okay, so we're a partnership of six of the UK Legal Deposit Libraries, uh, three of which are um, University Libraries, Bodleian, University Cambridge and Trinity in Dublin. We have um, the National Libraries of Scotland and Wales and of course the British Library based in uh, London and Yorkshire. Uh, our mission is pretty simple. We want to collect the entire UK web space. Um, that's a pretty tall order and not easy to do, but that's our aim. What we um, can say though is that we, we started in 2005. Um, however, for the first eight years, this was on a, a relatively small basis. Uh, we required the permission of the website owner to collect websites uh, during this time. Um, so this um, kind of means that we've got in the, in, re in the realm of thousands of websites over the 15 years that, that we've been going um, uh, from this method. Um, in 2013, there was quite a change for us in that we um, uh, enjoyed the Non-Print Legal Deposit Act regulations coming into force. This means that we can take, without permission, any website uh, that we can identify as being from the UK. How frequently do we, do we uh, collect? Well, we try to get um, everything, um, or at least as much as we can, at least once per year. And we call this our annual domain call. And this um, usually is at some time between March and October, and it usually takes us a few months to complete. Um, in addition to that, we have curators and um, other people who uh, select websites and Twitter accounts and, and other things that we call targets. Um, and these can be um, set to frequencies of daily, weekly, monthly, quarterly, or six monthly, or as appropriate. Sometimes we just do websites on a one-off basis. Sometimes we ought to continue to clear them for many years. So access to the collections. This is um, um, quite mixed. So uh, earlier when I mentioned that we um, got uh, thousands of websites by permission, part of that permission means that we can make those publicly available. And so about 15,000 websites are available anywhere in the world via our website. That's pretty good. Um, however, the um, the collections that are made through the legal deposit regulations, um, which is millions of websites every year, are only available in the reading rooms of UK legal deposit libraries. At the moment, that's nine locations in um, the UK and one in Ireland. So um, the main way of accessing our collections is through our website. And here it is. Um, you can put in a URL or a search word in here and you can see what we have. Um, I'd also, also like to point out that we encourage people to tell us about websites to, to archive through our Save a UK website link. Um, when you run a search, uh, you get a results page, a little bit like this. Um, here I've put in a, a URL of uh, University College London. Um, we have a number of ways of filtering down because we often get a lot of results. So on the, the left here, we have um, a number of um, ways of filtering the collection, including what the top domains are. It's kind of interesting that um, University College Hospital uh, comes up quite highly. Here we have um, the NHS. Um, uh, so definitely worth having a play there. It's also worthy of to note that on this screen, you can kind of see how we um, uh, put down where to access things. So 
you put in um, a search term and it'll tell you whether something's viewable on library premises um, here or whether it needs to be in um, uh, or whether you can just access from anywhere and one of the things that we are really proud of is we have uh, well over a hundred curated collections and these are in our topics and themes section and these are in a incredibly wide range of subjects um, from very formal kind of events such as general elections um, and recently we had a big collection around Brexit um, and we also do things like maintain the top 100 companies you can see here we've got the FTSE 100 um, big centenaries like the First World War that we had a couple of years ago but we also have um, collections that were made by researchers doing their um, PhDs so this one uh, London French uh, collection was done by um, a PhD student who was um, doing research on uh, the French diaspora community in London and this was a very interesting one we have just out of interest a number of diaspora community collections in our you know on, on our site at the moment so that's an area that we're really glad that we can work with the research them um, an area that is uh, I really point people to is uh, we have a number of open data sets um, these were um, um, made from uh, what we call the GISC UK domain data set. This was um, material that was uh, acquired via GISC from the Internet Archive and it's based on all the .UKs that were collected between 1996 and the spring of 2013. And there's a number of interesting things in here and they're all downloadable and free to use and we're, we're, we're very glad that you, you might want to do it. Um, I mean, just to point out a couple, there's a geo index. So this is a uh, um, postcodes associated with um, websites. And just to give you an illustration of what you uh, can get out of that, this is just a, a sample um, CSV file of um, the very simple but quite powerful data set you can get out. This is just a, a date stamp, a web. Can be incredibly powerful. Um, the uh, you do need some Python skills to make the most of this collection, um, but with a small amount of, of Python skills, you can get a lot of uh, data at your fingertips. Not really useful and amazing data. Uh, just to point out another one, we have host level links. This is very simply just what websites link to what other websites how many, and how many times. Again, it's very simple data that would not too difficult once you get access to it. But you just do need a couple of Python skills to, to get there. But this is a fantastic resource that deserves uh, some use. Uh, just to illustrate what somebody who's used our Geo Index collection, uh, this is Emmanuel Tranos, who's now a fellow at the um, Turing Institute. Um, and he um, did some GI, I, geo data analysis against businesses, which um, he, he certainly found very useful. Um, and I've got, there's a link to the blog post he wrote about it, um, if you want to know more. Um, another thing I'd like to point out, because this is, again, freely available, you can use this from anywhere, is our Shine service. This was a project that we did a number of years ago using that that GISC data set that was based on Internet Archive material. This was a way of um, uh, testing ways of searching a large uh, collection such as this. So um, th th this is a way of doing searches. Again, you have filters. Um, you can see here postcode districts, years of crawl. There are other some uh, languages is one that's, that's here that's quite interesting. I thought I'd just check that um, Aarhus was in our collection, and it certainly is. Over 700,000 people, I think it's mostly um, travel websites, uh, have registered it. Um, one of the nice features of Shine, and something that certainly 
uh, fun as well as quite informative is um, the trend analysis where you can put in word or phrase or numerous words and phrases and compare their popularity over the course of this um, collection. And as you can see here, we're not just putting a fun one of what's more popular, croissants or pan au chocolat. And it seems croissant is a clear winner here, uh, certainly on the internet in, in these years. Um, I'd highly recommend playing with this um, tool. Um, one that um, always comes up really well is, is putting on a uh, word of the year, OED word of the year. Um, this um, bit of research, just to give you a bit of background, came out of um, a project known as the Big UK Domain Data for the Arts and Humanities. Um, if you want to see some research that kind of use this tool, uh, check out this website and look under the bursaries and you can kind of see the reports that the 10 bursary holders who, who use this um, got out. It's a really wide range of topics as well, from poetry um, to um, recruitment in the military, um, and many others. Worth checking out. Hopefully that's a little insight to some of the things we can offer um, this project. Uh, if you want to get in touch with us about anything you've heard here, want to know more, or just want to um, tell us any research you're doing, these are some contact details. Uh, really look forward to seeing you. Thank you.